Dajaho, I'm Nathan Rich, aka Woko Dawang. You know, I've been using the internet for about 25 years now. In the beginning, there was no real way to get from one website to another. Later, web rings came around. When search engines finally showed up, web rings started dying out. There were several competitors for the web search space. But when Google finally came out, it had an advantage simplicity. It was the only one that had a clean, simple interface. Its results were acceptable and it was very easy to use. That was enough to get it a place at the search engine table. It later adopted the phrase, don't be evil. I admit it. I used to think Google was the exception to the rule about corporations. I thought Google was interested in impartiality. It was going to focus on providing services without the evil practices of other corporations. And as far as I can tell, Google really wasn't evil. But those days are long gone now. And I admit I was wrong. I shouldn't have supported Google. And as Google is slowly trying to get into the China market, I must speak out. Google should never be allowed into China. I'm sorry to say quite ironically that Google is evil. One of the first things you notice when you come to China for the first time is that your Google apps don't work anymore. For a foreigner like me, this was a big frustration. At the time, I lived in a very small town in China called Dujiangye. The internet in my apartment sucked and I couldn't access my precious Google account. Frustrated, I slowly ended up replacing Google services with others I knew about. But I took the banning of Google services as a banning of freedom, a blocking of free information itself. Damn, China, you don't know what you're doing. If only I was in charge, I would allow Google through for all the Chinese to have access and they would be free and happy. As the years went on and my knowledge of China and politics improved, my perspective shifted. I did a video about why Facebook was banned in China, which shows very clearly how they support extremism and anti-China propaganda and refuse to take down anti-Chinese racist groups. But honestly, even if they stopped promoting hate, Facebook would still have a major issue with politically motivated ads. These just make it incompatible with China. There are other issues as well. But I wouldn't call Facebook evil. I mean, it is as evil as any other corporation in America. It, it does care about money the most and pretty much nothing else. But those things are kind of normal in large corporations. That's one of the reasons I don't like them. Google, however, has grown into something much more sinister than a normal corporation. And when I finally saw it for what it is, it had been an embarrassingly long amount of time. I should have seen it sooner. And now that I see it clearly, I need to warn everybody as soon as possible. Now, if you don't know this already, then I have no idea where you've been. But the rest of the world has known for absolute fact that the U.S. government uses Google products to spy for at least six years now. I've known this since I first became a systems administrator long, long, long before that. But it's not Google giving up all your information to the government that's the real issue. That's because nearly every piece of software leaks your information to the government. Welcome to the 21st century. You don't have privacy. Get over it. And I'm not even focused on the absolutely proven fact that Google alters its search results to push political agendas. We 100% have proven it does this. There is no question anymore. This is actually quite an extreme violation of user's trust. But it's possibly still not actual evil. What's most important to me is that Google participates in antitrust violations, crushing its opponents and setting itself up as the primary information gate. It kills rival companies, holding the country and technology itself back. That in combination with the next issue is the real evil they've become. This year, Google executives were caught on video admitting that they are directly trying to influence American presidential elections. They aren't just altering search engine results anymore. If the Chinese government lets Google operate in China, I fear we will be looking at a new dark future for China. I'm not exaggerating. Let's examine the facts here. We know that they are proactively censoring and discriminating against China and Chinese people. And we know for a fact that they will stop at nothing to alter information and data to try to engineer elections in their favor. The combination of these evils form a much greater evil a new kind of foreign agent, the likes of which you've never seen before. If Google continues to push into China, especially its search engine, here's what you can expect to see. In the beginning, they'll get a lot of pushback from other countries for agreeing to China's search engine terms. Note that no one seems to care that Microsoft already complies. That's because people still think Google is somehow different than traditional corporations like Microsoft. They think it's not evil, but they're wrong. After the whining dies down, life will go on as usual. 
But within about two years, Google will slowly start introducing their extreme bias and political agenda. They will very gradually and very slowly start shifting search results around to change narratives. They'll boost slightly negative information about China and try to cause destabilization in the region. They will push for separatism and democratic imperialism. If China lets them stay beyond that point, I would fear for the future. When I see Tide brand laundry detergent in China, I retch a little. I hate these enormous corporations trying to take over the world. But that's just me strongly preferring local brands and Chinese products inside of China, at least where they're better or equal. But when I see that China has five Google offices, I get very nervous. You've seen how they treat my YouTube channel, and you've seen how they will try desperately to shape politics. They crush corporate opposition, which is exactly what they'll try to do to the Chinese companies, and intentionally promote anti-China information. How about this screenshot I took from my phone? I just searched Hong Kong and looked at the top result. Beijing is preparing for a massacre in Hong Kong. Can you imagine the depth of bias and anti-China insanity that it takes to honestly believe China intentionally wants to commit a massacre on Hong Kong citizens? I mean, just really think about the frame of mind you would have to be in to honestly think that that were true. That's what Google is promoting. That's the message it will bring to China if you let them in. They aren't your friends. Don't accept their offers. Don't accept their contracts. Don't accept their presence in China. Think of how many millions of people saw that as the top result. It is disgusting. Google's not like other corporations. They're unapologetically anti-Chinese. They're discriminating and they're altering elections. They are extremely dangerous to the sovereignty of nations. And while that may be okay in other countries, to me, it's not okay in China. Thanks everybody. See you soon.